All right, everybody, it's Moto Mitch. It's Thursday night, kind of. Uh, we're doing something a little bit different. Uh, we are, it's actually Memorial Day at Valley. So we're midway and we're gonna do Moto Mitch TV from Valley, but stay tuned to the end because I am going to give an honest review of my 23 KTM 250 SX. So please stay to the end of this thing. Uh, so like I said, we are at Valley. The boys, two boys, Jason, Keegan, and Mike has been here racing all weekend, along with our rider of the week. Uh, we'll introduce him in just a second, but the kids are doing absolutely fantastic this weekend, riding hard. Uh, you guys having a good time at Valley? Yay! Yes, and we got a new track dog too. So today, you guys, like I said, it's Monday. We had a memorial loop around. Uh, Jim Jules, myself, and Pete are now racing today. We've already raced one moto, uh, and we got one more to go. So we're getting ready to do round two of moto. Stay tuned, I'm gonna throw in some highlights of all of us racing, uh, but I wanna introduce you to our rider spotlight of the week. Now, before I go any farther, you notice that we are swampy green. Let me just verify, uh, clarify, verify that Two Boys Racing is not going green. This is not ours. We are over at another teammates, our friends. So I'm gonna introduce you to, uh, this is Bentley. Bentley, tell me a little bit about you. Uh, my name is Bentley Apsey. Uh, my number is 453. I'm all over your team. And I'm ready to see you. So Bentley, 453, he took his first laps at Valley today on his Kawasaki 125. Uh, how do you feel out there? Felt big. Felt big. Yeah. But you're doing a great yeah. job on the 85, right? Yeah. Nice job. Now, Bentley, this is your grandpa Pete. Pete, tell us about you. My name's Pete. I'm 54 this weekend. Um, uh, Happy birthday. Yeah, number 657. Uh, first time, actually second time racing on this track. Uh, out here trying to finish laps and stay alive and go back to work on Monday. What are we doing, Pete? <laughs> Uh, we got Jim Jules down here too. Uh, we're racing at Vet Novice Beginner. Uh, this might have been a crazy idea, but I'm having fun. It's fun. We're it's putting laps awesome. on the bikes and we're having a good time. Yep. So, uh, Will's going to give you the results of it, but you know what? For me, Moto Mitch, Pete, and Jim Jules, it doesn't matter. We finished the race on two wheels. We're golden, okay? Uh, nice job meeting you. You're nice meeting you guys and you're, you've been friends with us for a long time but I wanted to give a shout out to Bentley 453. Uh, kids coming on strong. Uh, keep an eye out for him in the future. He's kicking butt on the 85s. He's going to the 125 probably full time next year Bentley. Yep. Yeah <laughs> and he's got one sweet KX 125. Uh, I'll take some close-ups of that and add in. Uh, you don't see the Kawasaki 125 like this around here so I, I'll put some highlights of this thing in here too. So. Like I said, here's some video of us at uh, Valley Memorial Weekend, and make sure that you stay to the end for highlights of if I love my KTM 250 or not. The truth comes out. Well, I might sell it, but I'm not for sure yet. Well, I'll find out by the end of this moto. Once again, thank you for watching Moto Mitch TV. Two boys, Two boys out. out.
on Moto Mitch TV and Two Boys Racing, like I promised, I'm going to give you right now, do I love or do I hate my 23 KTM 250 SX? Uh, Valley is over. We raced, uh, which was fun on this bike. I uh, currently got about nine hours on it. And I'm going to be straight up honest with you guys. Uh, at first, I did not like this bike. I could not, I didn't feel comfortable on it. Uh, I'm not used to a 250 two stroke. Uh, I've had a the 150 XCW before, which is electric start, two stroke, and that was kind of fun. Uh, but it wasn't a motocross bike. This bike is built for supercross. Uh, and I'm not that good at it. So I was having a handful trying to drive this thing. Uh, but I did it, and I got a little bit better and a little bit better made some adjustments this and that uh, I've been talking with people on suspension settings uh, these air forks I don't know if I'm in love with them or not I'm used to riding just normal forks but this thing came with air forks I guess so did my other bike the other KTM that I had hit air forks but I had no clue at that time what to do so and I really don't now with these air forks so what I did was I went to the uh, suspension part of the KTM book uh, and followed them settings for I was in sport range I guess I did the air pressure they suggested I did the clicks this way the clicks that way the clicks this way the clicks that way did a lot of clicking uh, and then we rode it around on the track and it still felt funny to me so I was talking to somebody and they I was running the air pressure what the book suggested they suggested go down to 130 so I did that in the front forks I set set the clicker settings the exactly the same uh, but the air pressure was down on my bike because I like it a little softer uh, and it felt okay at Valley I actually rode pretty decent uh, you'll see some of the videos of me and Jim Jules and Pete racing on there uh, a couple of things I got to work on is my technique S sitting down way too much but back to the bike here guys uh, overall the bike is dangerous this thing rips and I'm only in map one I let my buddy uh, his kid ride it Logan Malcolmson and he put it in map two and he said it was pretty wicked in map two uh, I'm not brave enough to even try it yet, so I'm going to just stay in map one. But some of the things that I really like about this bike, electric start, two-stroke, old school, uh, and it's fuel injected, so I don't have to worry about jetting a carburetor. I never even knew how to jet a carburetor until Michael's 125s. Uh, and I've had dirt bikes all my life. I just rode them, <laughs> which is not right. Uh, so I'm learning a lot as I'm going, too. But uh, a couple of other nice things. Uh, this bike and the 250 basically share all the same parts so if something goes wrong with mike's bike i can just pull it off here plastic whatever it may be back wheel front wheel uh, i can do that i like how narrow this thing is uh, i'm not really for sure if i love this plastic pointing right up here uh, and i don't really care for the white look at how dirty it's getting right in there but maybe a magic eraser will pull that out of there uh, but I do love how narrow it is compared to my Yamaha 250 that I got. Uh, that thing's wide and it just feels like a beast. Uh, another thing that I like is how easy it is to change the air filter on this. Uh, you just pull the side cover and it's right there. Uh, one thing that I don't like on this plastic, if you want to take this stuff off, it's kind of a pain in the Watuzi uh, to get this plastic off. There's a lot of screws down there, so I thought that was kind of lame. Uh, other than that, I gotta tell you guys, I think I love this bike. I'm gonna keep it, and I'm gonna keep riding this thing. Uh, I'll give another review at 20 hours, because it's got about 10 right now. I'll give you another review at 20, and uh, we'll see where we go from there. I just changed oil, got it cleaned up uh, as good as I could for now, and I am ready to rip. Our next, or my next race will be at Cadillac, uh, so that's in a few weeks yet. Uh, Michael is racing red bud this coming saturday for the loretta lynn qualifier so we'll have some highlights of that next weekend uh and whatever else goes on uh over the course of the weekend i think sunday we're going to he's going to go because i gotta work so mom's gonna take him to bulldogs they're having their race because the first one of the season got uh, canceled due to weather so they're gonna go to bulldogs on sunday 
uh, Red Bud on Saturday for the qualifier. That'll be interesting to see some footage from that. Uh, and I'm going to go to that because I got Saturday off, so we'll get some good footage of that. But uh, while I'm here, I wanted to throw a shout out to Valley, uh, to my new cameraman, Cameraman Kyle, and that's Cameraman with a K, Kyle Otto. He did a pretty good job videotaping for us, so he's my new camera kid, uh, and he's part of our family. I want to throw a shout out to Jim Jules for always helping out. Want to throw a shout out to Pete and Bentley. Had a blast racing with you guys and just hanging out with you. Uh, throw a shout out to all the two boy sponsors. Uh, you guys are absolutely amazing. And I really want to show a, throw a shout out to the crew at Valley. Uh, those guys are pretty dang good. Uh, it was a good setup. The track was dang good for the amount of people who was there. Uh, Steve Moreland, I think is his name, that owns it. Uh, super nice guy and he does a good job. But the staff there, the flaggers, the gate people, the concession people, all super nice. So if you've never been a, had a chance to go on Valley, ride Valley. It's a nice track. Uh, and they're nice people, so that's important to me. Uh, I would just soon not ride at a place if they're jerks, so that means a lot. Uh, other than that, make sure you stay tuned for future episodes of Moto Mitch TV. Remember, Thursday nights at 7.30, like and subscribe so you get the notifications. Two boys out.